Okay, so welcome back, people, and we are here with the little Riv. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, when you when you go like that, you remind me of someone on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are going to be talking about a very very sad thing, or something we probably wouldn't normally like talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is going to be Digimon Hunters, also known as Digimon Cross Wars Three: The Boy Hunters Who Leapt Through Time. But Which, we just have to call it Digimon Hunters. Crosswords has some really bad names. Um, <laughs> they're just too long. Um, I'm sure it sounds better in Japanese. Yeah, it probably does sound better in Japanese. Um, so, we, as, as you know before, we, we, we took our time talking about Crosswords, and technically we took our sweet-ass time talking about, uh, what was it, O2 and Frontier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we took our sweet ass time talking about O2 and Frontier. Um, I but, don't think there's that much to say about um, Hunters. Yeah, to be but honest. well, I was just trying to say because there were definitely defendable things in O2. There were there was there was plenty of little odd little things to talk about in Frontier, mm-hmm. and again, there is that split in Savers, but. It's almost universally agreed that Hunters was not needed in the slightest. And even if it was needed in some capacity, it was executed extremely poorly. Yes. Extremely poorly. It came out about a year after uh, Cross Wars had, the original Cross Wars had finished. Um, and, you know, everyone... The digi hype was back. Mm-hmm. The digi hype was back. We we had we had all loved crosswords. You know, maybe some not as much. You know, some like to nitpick and have issues, but overall, we all agree that crosswords was a really good season. If anything, maybe not the best, but it was still a really good season. Um, and when we heard there was a sequel, we were like, oh wow, you know, there's going to be a sequel to a good Digimon season. And a Digimon season, you know, that we have waited a long time for, but now we only had to wait a year for, which is still a long time, but still. It, it's it's small in normal Digimon time because norm, for, like, the last three, we had to wait at least three-year minimum in between each season. Um, Because, yeah, like, uh, Frontier came out in, like, 07, 08, and then uh, uh, Savers, Savers came out in 2010. Wait, no, that's not right. That's not right. I thought it came out in 2010. Frontier came out in 2004, right, on the heels of Tamers. Really? And then Sabres came out in 2006. I thought we had to wait a little while for Frontier. Nope, Frontier was right on the heels of Tamers. In fact, in the final episode of Tamers, there is a next time on for the first episode of Frontier. Mm. Uh, it's been been too many years since that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, But either way, you see, we had to wait years normally for it. And I don't know... And in and then that initial and in between those times we would always think that we would never get any more Digimon because Digimon has never been as big as Pokemon and it had never you know brought in all that sweet sweet you know Poke dollars but Pokemon never stops yeah um but you know surprisingly we always did eventually get another season and to see another one you know come out really quick compared to you know the previous couple seasons. You know, that was pretty awesome. We were hyped and we were hoping for something at least as good as, as um, uh, whatchamacallit, as, as good as Cross Wars, mm-hmm. who had two really good arcs and, and, uh, tied the story really easy, really well. But, you know, we still wanted to, we would still like a sequel. We always like sequels, um, to good things. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it came out. Um, should we talk about the plot? E- yeah, we should. We should talk about the plot a little bit. Um, the plot is basic. Is this Taiki uh, and the previous people have gone their separate ways? Except you know, obviously the people that live in the same town. Mm-hmm. Um, they have all gone more or less their separate ways. Taiki's um, the same Ta- school as you. Yeah, Taiki's the same and- school as you. They haven't seen the Digimon since the end of the last series. Mm-hmm. But Taiki still has his Digivice. Yeah, but still has a Digivice. So does uh, you. Yeah. 
Um, well, Yu's partner Damimon died at the end of the last series, so he doesn't have his partner. Yeah. One well, wait. No, he. Everyone got brought back to life, right? Except for the Death Generals who got sent to Digi Hell and then got killed and then died in Digi Hell. Damimon does come back to life, but it's not until like five or six episodes in, which felt like forever. Mm-hmm. Well, because they couldn't uh, remember, they couldn't get back there. Mm-hmm. The, it, again, and we'll talk. It, we're gonna about to. We're about to mention that too soon after they meet their Digimon again. Um, uh, because they couldn't get back to the digital world because it was kind of locked off. It, it was always supposed to be locked off. The fact that Shotman kind of broke through initially, and the fact that the bad guys were always trying to break through. It was very difficult to get between the two worlds and cross wars. Yeah, and so then, uh, you know, one day. You know, they get a signal or something, right? And well, um, a new guy shows up, um, Tagaru, who um, he really admires Taiki. He bas- did... He's basically Taiki's fanboy, which is kind of creepy, by the way. He, he is an idiot of Daisuke proportions. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say more than Daisuke, honestly, yeah. um, because he's he's because he, he's just a. a He's just uh he's just Taiki's fanboy. That's literally all he is. E- even after his bit of development near the end of the show, he's still more or less Taiki's fanboy. Mhm. Um but uh, so we have that new he's he's going to be the new main guy. Um it, it's taking like the old two approach where the the older people are going to be present, but they're not going to be the main focus or at least they shouldn't be the main focus. They kind of were, though. Like I said earlier, Hunters is like if you took O2, but the only characters you had were Taichi, Daisuke, and Ken. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, okay, so then but then one day, right, there's something happens. I can't remember exactly what happens. Um, Taiki gets a signal on his Digivice, mm-hmm. and he can somehow use it to open what may or may not be, it's never fully explained, what may or may not be a portal to the future where everything has gone to shit and the world is all post-apocalyptic and digitized and there are Digimon running everywhere. Well, no, no, no. The, 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 whatchamacallit, the, the, the new Digi space. I, I don't remember what they call it. They call it some they kind of space. Or, yeah, Digi Quartz. The Digi Quartz is basically kind of like an infected part of the human world that they have to jump into. It looks exactly the same as the human world, but, but it's all, it's all covered in green and yeah. and like it has like data floating around sometimes. Like, crap like like it that. may be the future. It may not be. It, you'd think with the title, it, you'd think it would be, but it's never fully explained. Uh, and the title only makes sense at the end, which is going to have a lot of shit thrown at it. Oh my. Um, Let's not get there yet. No, we're not getting there yet, but just to say, it only makes sense at the end, and we'll get there. Um, so what happened is, oh, they opened this new thing called, this new poorly poorly defined thing called DigiQuartz, which is, again, basically the human world covered, covered in, I, just, I guess just covered in the digital world, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thing There's is... old man there. Yeah, there's an old bearded man again taking kind of going with the Jedi slash Savers route of the of this old hermity wise guy, wise old man. Mm-hmm. Um, that you know they basically get nothing out of, but he ends up giving his giving um what's his name giving. his Digivice. Yep, and then he meets Gondramon. And then he meets Gondramon. Now, right off the bat, to say Gondramon. For for everything that's new, he is the only good part that's new. He has pretty much the same personality as Vimon, so he's not that great. But he is a very nicely designed Digimon. I really like how he looks, and I really like his relationship with Shoutmon. Mm-hmm. His, his relationship with Shoutmon is really cute. Um, His design is fucking really cute. <laughs> again, trying, again, kind of going with the, v, with the kind of a Vimon thing. A Vimon vibe and style, mm. um, but his relationship with his actual partner is kind of derpy, and because they're both really dumb again, like Daisuke and Vimon proportion, mm-hmm. but the human is again like more Daisuke than Daisuke is. 
so yeah. it, it it just doesn't work like Daisuke and Vimon because the human is just too much. Mm-hmm. Gumdramon can be funny. He has really funny moments with Shoutmon and a couple of the other Digimon. But whenever the human kind of gets involved or his partner gets involved um, or whenever the focus is on his partner, it's just really dumb. Yeah. So anyway, um, what happens then is you've got Gumdramon and we found that the DigiQuotes has different rules to the digital world. The rules being you can only you can have as many Digimon as you want, like in Cross Wars, but you can only have one Digimon out at a time and you can only digicross it with one other Digimon from inside your Digivice. Basically they said, Fuck you to all your creativity in Cross Wars. You get one and one other one. So we are not allowed to have Shoutmon Cross Three or anything like that. Or sh- or Shoutmon Cross Four or sh- yeah. Shoutmon infinity higher. thing at the end like mm. that just cannot exist and, and for, for the majority of the show shaman only really uses shaman is the strongest character simply because he can digivolve yeah um gundramon can also digivolve to arrest Udramon, but, but i don't think he learns how to do that for a while he doesn't learn how to do that for a while and he's he always has to fuse with something else to even get up to shaman's near shaman's level like so, Omega um, Shaman's level, he has to cross just to get somewhere near there. So we've got um, Taichi, um, Taiki Dice, Taiki, uh, whatever, Ta- Taiki, Tagu, and you. Mm-hmm. They're in the digital. They're in, they go into DigiQuotes, and basically what Tagu wants is, oh, I want to catch a bunch of cool Digimon because they're cool. Mm-hmm. And be- because of DigiQuotes' like weird parallel universe nature. You can do something to someone in DigiQuotes and it'll affect them in the human world. Yeah, the, basically, it, it, it it's kind of like a ghost effect when you're in the DigiQuotes. If you fuck with if you fuck with stuff in the DigiQuotes, it kind of like if you make a hole in a wall, it's gonna make a hole in the wall of the human world yeah. kind of thing. And it, there, so it's like it's not the huge kind of parallel dimension. And meanwhile, there are three other people who visit DigiQuotes. I don't remember their names, and I don't remember what the Digimon were. But all they were were rival hunters who sometimes competed oh, for Digimon. He, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So they introduce this other concept, too, that there are multiple, you know, that like in, like in, in, in O2, mm-hmm. that there's other Digi destined around the world, kind of, basically. There was one episode where there was a really tough Digimon on an island, so the old man brought all of the Digidestant you could find to the island to try and capture the Digimon. Mm -hmm. And it was just fighting. But I think um, we're we're about at the point where the main problem with Hunters starts to appear. All the other Digimon series are, are in and around 50 episodes long. Hunters is 26 episodes long. Which, you know, wouldn't be so bad. But about you know how what we said earlier about how each series starts off really slow and it's just Digimon of the Week and it doesn't really go anywhere for a while before the plot kicks in? Mm-hmm. Hunters is like that nearly all the way through. Yep. Most of the episodes are just Digimon of the Week. They fight it. It doesn't go anywhere. They beat it. There are some some things like we meet other Digimon Tamers, like the guy with Dobermon, and he kind of helps them. Mm-hmm. And there were even a few cool moments where they went back and met Kiriha and Nene. Mm-hmm. And Nene, on... Nene is still really funny. Yeah, she She's is. She's still really funny. Um... They even managed to, like, with the technicality, they combined, what was it? They combine Taiki combined Shoutmon with Ballistamon, then he gave Darulumon and Starmon to uh, you, and he combined. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. They, they did manage to make Shoutmon cross five. They cheated. <laughs> that, that was one of one of the better parts of the series because we actually got some did you cross action, mm-hmm. but they did have to cheat to do it. And even then, they didn't. They they didn't ever really do it again. Yeah. Um. You you shines though, I will say this. You does shine a lot here. 
Well, he didn't really get a chance he to. Didn't, he, he didn't get a chance to. Well. Yeah, but that's true. But he shines so well, he might as well have been the main character. Even though he was pushed into the background quite a bit, he still did have some good moments. Mm-hmm. He he should have been the main character. If they had made you the main character of this, it made it is it might as well have been an ad, like an additional arc to Cross Wars. Yeah, instead of introducing Tagu. Um something I maintain a lot is that um Hontu's is fan fiction. As in we've got It's lazy tag- fan fiction. Lazy fan fiction. <laughs> because we've got Tagu who is, you know, an original character, an OC. He's come in and he's immediately accepted by the canon characters. And what they do is they just, every episode, they're just, oh, we have a problem. It's a Digimon. We'll solve the problem. It kind of kind of reminds me of, like, Yokai Watch, in a way. Mm. Where, not, not that I'm saying Yokai Watch is bad, but the episodes are a lot shorter, usually about seven to ten minutes, and it doesn't take itself as seriously as Digimon Hunters, because Yokai Watch is like, oh, we've got a problem. It must be an invisible Yokai causing it. We'll beat the Yokai with negotiation. <laughs> and it's kind of like that, because there's a problem, there's usually a Digimon causing it, they beat the Digimon. The end. Mm-hmm. The end. <laughs> and, well, do you have anything else to say about the bulk of um, Hunters? Because it's mostly I, I am really sad that they went with they went with the concept from Adventure O2 again and yeah. failed at it again. They, that they that they have other works. children around the world that can help you, but either they're pricks and don't give a shit, or we don't get to see them at all. Mm-hmm. Like they they did group up a couple times because of the old man, like once or twice. Yeah. But every time we saw them, they were they were like greedy little assholes, or they just end up leaving. Mm-hmm. These aren't. This is worse than what they did in O two because in O two we saw that there that these are still other digi destin that these are still kids that want to fight and help. And we don't even get that here. Yeah. The ep- the, each episode doesn't don't really follow the other ones. You can watch them out of order and not lose anything. And there was probably some another thing I should bring up before we get to the ending, right? Mm-hmm. Um, during ar- around the middle of the series, you know the eye catches they have before and after the credits. Mm, yeah, they start saying, "Hey, we're doing a Digimon design contest," which you know is fair. Mm-hmm. They've done that before. Some um, well-known Digimon came from them, like Orochimon, Dogemon, and mm-hmm. Satam- uh, Skull Satamon. <coughs> but um, what what they hap- what happened was they picked five Digimon from the contest, and then they made episodes with that Digimon uh, as the antagonist. I don't remember which, which ones they were. Um, I could look it up if you wanted, but um, it doesn't really matter. Like the pencil one... The ones in the, in the oh car. my god! I okay. I kind of remember the pencil one. That was bad. That was so bad. That was really bad. I remember. I kind of remember the pencil one. I don't remember the details, but I I remember that there was a pencil thing, and that was really bad. It was like something out of Yokai Watch, but um, the individual episodes weren't even that enjoyable in Hunters. I hardly even remember any of them, and there aren't really any throughout the bulk of the series that are worth talking about no except for like the final two or three yes we'll, we'll get to them mm-hmm. um one thing that i did kind of like was towards the end of the series we got some flashbacks to shoutmon and gumdramon in the digital world mm-hmm. and it showed how they knew each other before the show started and how their relationship developed and i was like yeah, yeah this is pretty good if the whole show it makes was like this... cute, it makes Gum again. It makes Gumdramon really cute, and mm-hmm. makes and really makes his connection to Shotman that much better. If the rest of the show was more like that, I wouldn't have been complaining. Gumdramon did have a backstory, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Mm, Shotman saved him from something one time, and he said he wanted to be exactly like him because of how brave and awesome he was. I don't remember what though. Mm-hmm. I remember, I, I remember that Shotman did save him from something, though. I remember, like, Gumdramon was trapped in a prison, then an angel Digimon came and let him out as long as he put the gold ring on his tail. Oh, but, yeah, and uh, the gold ring thing is another weird thing that we're going to get to. 
the, the, in the end, it plays a big part. Really? Because I don't remember. And Gundramon is like saying, yeah, well, you know how Shoutmon is like, I'm going to be the Digimon King throughout the first two series. And, you know, mm-hmm. as of hundreds of years, he is a Digimon King. Not that yeah. that means much, but Gundramon is like, I'm the number one wild child of the digital world. And it's like, <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? It, they, they, they try to give him a catchphrase like they did with Shoutmon, but... It, it just came out, again, it just came out silly. Maybe it didn't translate <laughs> well, but if I think Wild Child of Digital World, I think Ikuta. No, uh, I I think even in, like, even in, like, other Japanese works, like, like fan doujin and stuff, they, they use Wild Child or, or um or like, Wild Kid in, in their yeah. stuff, too. So I, I think it's what they meant it to be. Um... Uh oh, uh, g- another good thing to say, uh, too. Shaman is a good king. Yeah, he Shaman he... has not changed <laughs> since Cross Wars. He is still a badass, and he's still an awesome character. But he grew. He still grew up. He isn't all kitty anymore, and he kind of acts like the big older brother to Gumdramon. Yeah, he's because he older. he is a king. He understands he has responsibilities now. And he tries to take take care of shit, basically. Him him coming back and doing all the stuff he's doing is because he is the king, because he wants to take care of the digital world, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that, that's awesome. You know, they're showing they're showing that he is yes, that he is a ruler and he is a ruler that knows how to rule. Take care of your people. Mm-hmm. You know. So that was something also really good. Um but, uh, but the, the it, it's not with it, this, this series was not supposed to be about like you said that's what it is, but it wasn't supposed to be. Taiki, you, Sha and Shoutman, it that wasn't supposed to be, what what this show was gonna be represented by. It was supposed to be, um, Gumjaman and his partner. Yeah. And they they didn't have a whole lot going on, and they and they just didn't. And if if they had just made Taiki older, gave him and gave him a couple of adventures, or maybe even made you kind of the the main focus, mm-hmm. that would have been a much better show. It, it would have basically yeah. something we could have even even if it was kind of shitty, it would have been something we kind of written off. Mm-hmm. But we can't write this off. There was no. this was obviously meant. To be a new season with these with this new character and his partner, and it just doesn't work. But you know what? I would be willing to forgive everything that Hunters did if it had a good ending. And with that, we're going to go to the ending. And yep. would you say just before we go into the details? Would you say it had a good ending? I would say it did not have a good ending. I wanted it to have a good ending. I was ready to quit the show and just stop watching altogether. But I had heard things about the ending. And I was like, if they do, if they pull this off, it could be awesome. Okay. No, okay. So, again, before we go into details, so one more thing. Did you think it was... Do you think it was a fun ending? Not, not Maybe not good, but was... Was the climax fun? No, I think they I think they messed it up. No, huh. okay. Well, to me, I would say the climax was a fun idea. Yeah, good idea. That's why I heard what it was, and because of that, I wanted to stick out the show to the end. But but when you see what they actually did, yeah, that is not good. Mm-hmm. Now let's go to the details. You know, so they after all this fighting and all this shenanigan things and all these little shenanigans, the ending is this. Um, is it the the god? A god basically comes out and oh, Quartzmon. Yeah, is the one that wrecked up the world and made it into Digi Quartz. Yeah, but uh, again, comes... it's supposed to be the god again, though, right? Yeah. So, basically, Godmon comes Quartzmon. out. Yeah, well, it's Quartzmon, but... You know, there, comes, there came a point where they couldn't go back to the real world anymore. 
because the real world became Digi Quotes, which again made you think it was time travel to let them get there. Mm. Yeah, but um, but it's just a weird dimensional thing. Mm. Um, but the Corsman comes out like in Savers, he he's meant to be like the god or heart of the digital world, and he's some. I don't know. I don't think he was. I just thought he was meant to be a very powerful Digimon that wanted to attack the human world. No, I no because when they because um that's why he's a he's supposed to be like some kind of really special thing in the digital world. Maybe not quite God, because there is the cold crown, right? Um, yeah. But he's kind of like, he's kind of on that same level where he's basically infecting the human world in with the digital world kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And but he doesn't talk, so he doesn't really have much motivation. Yeah, he he doesn't really talk. Um, well, he is Psychmon, so I suppose he talks then. <laughs> um, so in order to combat this super kind of godly threat because he's supposed to be extremely kind of he's extremely extremely strong what do they do and i I want you yarv to say what they do okay what what do they do i'll say what they do the old man using his best fanfic powers need they need to call like all of the chosen ones to help defeat quartzmon and the chosen ones are taichi Daisuke, Takuya, um, what's the name in Tamers? Um, Takato, mm-hmm. uh, Masu, and obviously Taiki. And they get have to get them all together in one place. By the way, find- wait, wait. I, I think you mixed it up. Takiru is uh, Frontier. Takato is, um, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, Takato is Tamers and Takiru- Takuya and Frontier. Yeah. But yes. They get them all together. And they even have like cameos from other characters. Like they have Ken there so that so that you can have Paladrum on. Mm-hmm. And they have Joe there just so they can get Goma on. They have the- Joe, Mimi, um Ruki uh Ruki uh Rika, sorry. Is it Ruki or Rika? It's Ruki in the Japanese version, yeah. Rika in the English version, so yeah. whatever. Yeah, there's Ruki in there too. You actually see Ranamon too, I think, a little bit too. You see the shadow. But yeah. but all the all those other characters are just shadows. Yeah. And they, they do this a bit to like make fun of how how the transformation sequences looked in the other series. Like you get the bit you get bits you get to see how they look in the transformation sequences out of them, which is kind of funny. Yeah. But it, then you get them and it's like, oh, we need, we've got this thing that is the remains of Bagramon's hand and we need to use this to defeat Quartzmon mm-hmm. and we need everyone to do it. So then they have like Omegamon and Pal- and Imperial Dramon and... Basically they have everyone dump their power into yeah. this ring made out of his hand. And then, then um, Taiki gets beaten up or incapacitated no you know they they say that the taiki was the one that they that was going to end up using it yeah against the against what you call it so that shaman so yeah so that shaman could be you'd be strong enough to end up defeating him mm-hmm. but what's happened is quartzman sees this beats the shit out of taiki and then taiki's out so then mm-hmm. they go oh my god then who's going to be the one to you know use it because mm-hmm. apparently the fucking other awesome old older people can't use it. Yeah. Um, well, guess who they turn to? They turn to um, Tagu, and then him and Arestodramon defeat Quartzmon. Well, 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 first, Taiki gives him the goggle speech, and yeah. um, then Taiki pours his power into the ring, too. Mm-hmm. And then... A restaurant Roman has super omega evolution something or other, but he's like, oh yeah, he has super restaurant Roman. But but the but like the source of this also is, or I I can't remember uh, if it was when he first did evolved or if it was this super mega crap. Um, his ring is actually the one actually triggers and causes this thing to. I think it was his the restaurant form actually. Yeah. Where it's the, his ring triggers, and that's the reason why he actually digivolves or something. I don't really remember. I don't really remember. It was something they, stupid with the ring too. But you you made a point of the ring where he had to wear it, 
mm-hmm. and it's because later on it activates i guess it releases its releases its power and he is able to evolve uh, but you know um in in digimon fashion super super omega uh whatever the hell he's called yes digimon yeah super mega restaurant and you know they fire the big old energy crap and they win. They go into the heart of Quartzmon in a X evolution reference and they just defeat Quartzmon and the world is saved. Then the dimensional portals close and everyone is sent back to their own world with no memory of it. And it's just... Is it, that... They don't wait. They don't have any memory of it? Well, you know, the people in... Oh, the normal peoples. The people who came from the other worlds don't have any memory of it because so they could never have to bring it up again. Mm. No, I thought you were, wait. Do you mean the humans don't remember or? Well, Taiki and Tagu remember, and yeah. they do want to remember, but all the others don't. Yeah. So I mean, like that that ending, like the whole series is a bit fanficy. Yeah, but wait, there's but... also one more thing. There's one more thing. Yeah. Old man says how they they go to the old man and say. How do how were you able to do this? He's all like, mm, some, or I don't remember exactly what he says, but he, he he pulls something out of his ass, and then his and then his eye glows red. Mm-hmm. And then now that the is the this, real fan fiction crap right there. At the very end of the series, Tagu meets up with Gundramon again yeah. because he found a way back, even though the portal was closed. But like the the get like the whole series is fan fic, he self ends it, whatever, but. Like getting all of the characters from all the other series together, breaking the continuity because in Digimon, all of the series are set in completely different continuities. Except and... for except for O two, they're all yeah, self contained. So... Yeah, but even then, they had Adventure One Tai Chi and O two Daisuke. In yeah, they, they they but they but Daisuke does say that you know all yeah. oh, this you know it's kind of funny you know haha you know I'm I'm older than you right now. <laughs> hmm. Uh, of course, again, that kind of makes time travel paradox crap, but we won't talk about that. It, like, <laughs> it is just fan fiction, plain and simple. Yeah. Like, um, oh, hey, I, myself, insert, I meet these guys from Cross Wars. Then we go around solving inane problems. Then suddenly there's a fate of the world deal, and we need to get all of the um, characters from all the Digimon series, even though they're from completely different continuities. Yeah. And then I'm the one who saves the day. Mm-hmm. Like. I have written my my fair share of self insert fan fiction, so I know how it goes. Mm-hmm. And that is just it's fan fiction straight up. It's a fanfic that somehow got made into a series. <laughs> Maybe a fan won a contest, and we just don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I will say this: that yes, the ending was pretty bad, and obviously had so much fun. They well, they had to include still again the part I hate from Savers. They have to show Marcus punching the shit out of Digimon. I think he he causes like a domino effect, right? I don't, don't really he, remember. He he punches like I, if I remember correctly, he punches like a row of mega level Digimon that uh, what you call is summoning Quartzmon is summoning, and they all just top over like fucking dominoes. Like I, that kind of pissed me off because again I don't I really hate seeing that from uh, Savers. Um, I do remember um, we got a funny line from Agamon. Um, it was, um, hey, Tai Chi, how come his Agamon's so much bigger than yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a pretty funny line. Yeah, that was funny. Well, I mean, to be... F- Wait, Metal, Gre- Metal Greymon can't fly? I can't remember. Normal Metal Greymon. Metal Greymon can, but Agamon can't. Yeah. Um, I will say, this is actually... That, that thing, though, it... It was something that a lot of people, if anything, had not only wanted but had been looking forward to for a, like a long, long time in order to basically again when you when you think about the fan fiction is because you know people imagine and think about this because they want to see all this stuff together, right? I imagine and, it's like, um, well, like hey. Um, you know, wouldn't it be cool if all the goggleheads could meet and then whoever directed that series like, here, now never ask me for anything ever again. Yeah. Well, I, it, it could have been fucking amazing, though, to see everyone come together, even even looking past even the if continuity it was a movie. issues. Yes, even, even if, if it was a movie, movie, looking past the continuity issues, we would have, you, you cannot say if it was executed well, that we would have, that we would have not loved to have seen that happen 
Like, yeah, maybe if they had like not included the self insert aspect at all and just done the last four or five episodes of Hunters as a movie, then maybe it would have been handled better. Mm. Because I, I, when I, when I, when I heard of the possibility that, or when I, when we saw that there was hints at. Uh, or at least in the previews that you know that we saw like these no, shadows there was a hint of the a other. A couple of episodes before it happened, after the one on the island, the old man was like, "Oh, uh, you ne- you don't know what's coming up. It's going to be a harder enemy than you've ever faced." And you mm-hmm. see Tai Chi and Masu kind of envelop in shadow, but it's clearly them. Mm-hmm. You, you knew it was coming. Yeah, but but you know, that's what made it so exciting. We wanted to see this happen yeah. well, and it still came out shitty. Mm-hmm. Um, but and the, and then again to top it all off. When I when when going back to the old man, when he sees Igor Red, you know who that is. When he sees who? When is Igor see, Red? Yes, the old man. Yeah. You know who that is, right? Who? You don't know. I don't remember who, his eyes glowing red. His eye. One of his eye glows red when he looks up. Mm-hmm. Do you, and but you do you, you know who that is? Do or do you? Can you think of who that is? I don't know. There's a lot of characters in Digimon. It it's supposed to be Bagramon, or at least all the fans say that it should be Bagramon, because who was the one who reached through dimensions in the first place, or the only one that is in that world that we ever knew of who could reach through dimensions? Yeah, I guess. But like, why would Bagramon be handing out Digivices now? We don't know that. But I mean, his eyes glow red. How did they fucking find his hand? Well, they saw where it landed. They saw where it landed. It's... Yeah, after they killed him. Oh yeah, it fell in the water, huh, or something. Yeah, and that, they, just, they just picked it up from where it landed. Mm. If well, you think about it, Tactimon's sword should be down there too. I think they did something with that. Yeah, they did something with that. Um, but just to say that, uh, but uh, I mean, all the f- like when the fans talked about it. For uh, after after it ended, they basically said it kind of had to be Bragamon because there's no other person that could have done it. Un- I guess. Like even looking, even if you want to look through the other continuities, like who who would who would be able to do that? That was no, always no. on the Dishy, that was always on the Dishy Destin side. Mm-hmm. N- none of the humans can do that. The only person we ever see open portals as a non Digimon or. You know, without some kind of super ex machina kind of crap, was kind of Jedi when he opened portals and shit for the Digi Destin, and that's obviously even do that. Then I never actually did anything magical, really. Well, not nothing magical, but he did help, you know, and do things and give them. He gave them the actual card, you know, the cards and shit to yeah. open things. Um, but so, but that little eye, like I said, the little eye thing at the end, basically kind of cemented it for most people that it had to be Bagramon because Bagramon had his eye glowing red all the time. Um, so I, I don't know. It was just, it was so, so weird. They, they gave us, they gave us that fan fiction dream at the end. But again, it was a dream that a lot of people wanted. They wanted to see, see all the, all the original people come together, fight and have a super big ass battle. And again, I know you don't watch... Yeah. I know you don't watch um, uh, Power Rangers, and I don't. I don't either. Like I, I, I only know the stuff from like when I was a kid. But I, I saw it when I was a kid, but I never got into it. But you know um, I mean? one, one of like the newer ones. I don't know if it was. I don't. I don't know if it was the last one technically, but one of the newer ones. Basically, I, I think it's the one that's called Super Sentai one. Um, basically, they have they they have the ability to use all the old Power Rangers and their powers. Uh, basically like summon them mm-hmm. and like it's basically kind of like that concept that we always wanted to see with the digimon pe- with the digimon uh the chosen children and all that yeah. um oh it, how how did it, it it looked really funny to see to cure uh uh to and um takato transforming it did i so, mentioned that earlier yeah it was really funny when they did that <laughs> <laughs> the faces of the people looking at them as well. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't use they don't use crimson mode here though, right? Or do they? I can't remember. They do. They use crimson mode. Okay, they use crimson. Granny mode. shows up out of nowhere and just combines with a uh, Dukeman. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I'm just so disappointed that we didn't get to see the other people, the other people that we love. I mean, of course, they're, these guys are the goggleheads, obviously. They're the mm-hmm. leaders, right? Yeah. B- but we still love the other characters. Why couldn't we see them? Why couldn't they talk? Just having them talk would have been amazing. Mm-hmm. But we don't get that. <laughs> we we just see we we just see the the leaders fight a little bit, dump their and power. Then they ultimately don't don't really finish it off. No, they they don't. Tagu, so. Yeah, because Targu Targu was supposed to do that. They they dump their power into this into this thing, and then that's it. That's their contribution. They, fight the, they 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 fight the they fight the Digimon he's summoning, but I, but we don't get to see them do all that much really. Mm-hmm. They 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 fire they fire their uh, attacks a couple times, and then they they basically come together right after saying no, this is the way we're gonna have to defeat him. And actually, who's doesn't like a a uh, a new person come in to basically give them the hand. Um, it's the it, the, old man that does it, I think. Huh? The old man does it, I think. I don't think it was the old man that gave them the hand. Oh, here's another thing. Um, at doing the final battle, Akui and Zendro actually got Digivices. Oh. Okay, no, that I totally forgot then. Yeah. I totally forgot that part. Uh, Zendro was given Ballistamon and Akui was given Jugulimon and Koopmon. You see, that's another fucking cop out. Why couldn't they get their own Digimon? Well, they did have bonds with them. They Jerry. did, they That's did, cool. but I mean, come on, you know. They, yeah, I know. That that's just co- that's just a cop out, and even then, they still got to go away in the end, right? Yeah. So it, <laughs> there was no need for that. If 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 anything, it's just kind of heartbreaking again. Because I, or at least for me, it is because I wanted them to have their digi devices. I wanted them to contribute. I didn't Indeed. want them yeah. to sit around doing nothing. Kazu and Kenta even got theirs eventually. Yeah, and they, and they helped they, a little they bit. Fought. They did fight. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um. Yeah. So, all in all, this is a really, really depressing season. It's not a good season. I, I would say, if you. If you just want to watch it, to watch it, you could suffer through it. But if if you just hear, if you just heard about the ending and are curious, just watch the first episode, skip the next twenty, and just go straight to the ending. Yeah. Because like it is a novelty. Well, I'm well. Watch the first episode. Get a little bit of explanation. Get some of the. No, well, no. I would say watch the first episode. Watch the Kira and Nene episodes. Yeah. And then you can skip to the end. Yeah, because most of Hunters just isn't worth it. I mean, if you want to, like, be super completionist and say, yeah, I've seen every episode, then I'd say watch it. But if you just want the key points, just watch the first one, the Kiriha Nene episodes, and the finale. Yep. Because It'll leave he, less of a sour taste in your mouth. And you will literally miss nothing. Yeah. You will miss nothing. It's all filler. But I'm, I still say, but I really like the Gumdramon and Shoutmon moments together. There was good stuff in it, but you know what we said earlier about there's just enough good stuff in Zero Two to mm-hmm. warrant watching it? Mm-hmm. I don't think you could say that about Hunters as a whole. Mm-mm. Especially because it's so short. But the fact that it is like, if it was fifty episodes of that quality, it would be even worse than it is now with a twenty-six episode series. Mm. Maybe they could have picked it up somewhere, though. Maybe a little bit yeah. of hope. <laughs> they could have maybe picked it up. Well, they could have gotten better if they had more time and money and love, but. Mm. The sequels never go that well in Digimon. No. Well, there's only been two. Yeah. And... But, but Chai is good. Not a sequel. Well, yeah, I guess it's technically a sequel. But it's but the only reason it's turned out to be a good sequel is because they actually learned from their mistakes yeah. this time. <laughs> so um, do you think that's have you got any final thoughts on Hunters? Um, final thoughts, uh, I would hope to see Gumdramon again, 
just not yeah. just without what's his name to get the best of series yeah just in a better series because he, he had potential mm-hmm. um So I guess that yeah, that's stop. it. That's just it. Join us next time where we'll be, where we will be discussing the Digimon movies. <laughs> will we? I don't know about that. I have that. I would have to go back and have to rewatch all the stuff. Actually, they're only short, so I might actually do that. <laughs> okay. So well, that's it for the talks for now. So bye bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>